Hello there, folks, and welcome to another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. I am your host, Wade Rush. I'm always around here on this Bubble Roundtree Outdoors channel. It was my channel, I guess I ought to be. Anyway, we're going to be talking about something a little off the, uh, a little out of the ordinary today, sort of. Anyway, we're talking about the 34 caliber double alt and a half and the 35 caliber triple alt. These have turned out to be two of the best performers that we've had out in the field for the last several years. Y'all stand by. Yeah, 34 caliber and 35 for you guys out there that are also, like me, I like the bigger stuff. I like the uh, bigger pellets. And my H70 really likes the bigger stuff. And my Stogro just about pattern anything. But uh, I'll tell you what, whenever if you're in a real thick spot uh, and you need those pellets to be able to go through a treetop or something like that to get to a bear or uh, any big game animal on the other side, these will get it done. Uh, yeah, we can put together a two and three quarter inch and a three inch. That's most common. We also put together some three and a halves, but I'll have to dedicate a video just to the three and a halves. Anyway, the cool thing about this, the 34 and the 35 caliber, is all we need is the CB1138 wad. The uh, 36 caliber triple alt will not fit into any kind of a full length wad without dimpling the hull up too bad. That's the cool thing about the 35 caliber when we're talking about triple alt size, and it is so close. These uh, 34, 35 cal, when one pellet will more than get the job done on a big game animal. And we can still get 10 pellets in a two and three quarter inch of 34 cal. That's really cool. All right, we've got a brand new Shaddai, brand new primed Shaddai two and a quarter inch here from Ballistic Products. I've got 32 grains of blue dot already measured out here in the Hornady Lock and Load. Now, in these straight walled holes, in order to keep the powder from migrating by, it doesn't migrate too bad. The blue dot doesn't by the CB1138. The, the long shot is really, really uh, bad about it. All your real small flake powders like HS6, long shot, stuff like that. So what we do here is I just get a little piece of one by one square piece of napkin or paper towel. One of Gary's nudgers and see any powder leaching up the side that's going to grab it, push it right down on top. Give it a nice little press. No powder is going to migrate by it. Now let's grab, I've got some, uh, I've got some garnet powder coated 34 cal. Beautiful, my sanit. We can still get 10 pellets by twos. Six, eight, 10. Look at that. Outstanding. Got number 47 laying here. It's just closest to me. Original works just fine. I'm sure the ITX would also work just fine. little massager from Amazon. Home medic. Works like a dream vibrating your uh, buffer. Just need just a touch more. And we're going to roll crimp it. 12 gauge thin overshot card.
You can also standard crimp this. Works just fine. I like I like roll crimping. It's neater. Yes, I say neater. As far as I'm concerned, it just it doesn't matter. Absolutely beautiful. 10 pellets of 34 caliber. That's a Hambro Jambro right there. All righty. All right, I'm going to we'll grab up. We'll put one together with the 35 caliber triple off. Almost the identical same way. Y'all hang on. I said almost the identical same way. The identical same way. With this one here, it takes the same charge, everything. Brand new, two and three quarter inch primed Shadite from Ballistic Products. 32 grains of blue dot. The um, 10 pellets of 34 cal weigh about 135. 10 pellets of 35 cal weigh about 14 to 145. Not a whole lot of difference. Napkin, CV 1138. And but the cool thing about this is that here's basically a triple alt sized pellet that you can get in a wad and don't have to remove the pedals. Two, four, Six, eight, ten. Just like a boss. I'll grab BP Original because we're just going to use all kinds down at the range. You guys are having a wonderful day or evening on the middle of the night that's when i man when i'm sitting there watching a lot of y'all's videos and all that is getting well up into the wee hours of the morning okay ah here we go we get, get us an overshot card yep i'm gonna roll crimp this one too This is, we got 10 pellets here and a two and three quarter inch round. This round is pretty well equivalent to the 10 pellet three inch round. That's right. You're basically getting three inch pop out of a two and three quarter inch round. How about that? All right. Let's put a couple of the three inch together. Brand new primed. Fioki. from ballistic products. Twenty seven a long shot. We want to get us a want to grab us a napkin, a piece of napkin here. And they're all they're all sticking together on me here. There we go. Over our 27 long shot. Well, I've got the 35 cal can right here. 
it works. Either way, fellas, okay? Thirty-five cal, triple all. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve pellets, thirty-five cal. Weighs one point six five to one point seven ounces, depending on your alloy. One six five to one seven. Number 47. Like I said, any of the other ones are going to work just fine. I've got I've got segmented overshot cards. We'll just do that here too, because they work fine. Bingo cards work just as good. Segmented overshot card. And yes, we're going to roll crimp it. It's been several rounds. So we hit it with a little bit of, just a little bit of petroleum jelly. Like being able to see what's in the round. 12, 35 caliber, triple off. All right. I'll set that aside where, because you can't just take a peep at them and know what's the difference. All right. Now, yes, if you've been hooked up with Mr. Calwas and you got your once fired, here we go. Once again, 27, a long shot. CB 1138 hulls are, the base wad is tapered, so that's what this wad is designed for. Actually, we can use 14 pellets of 34 cal in this particular load here when we're using the long shot. 14 pellets of 34 caliber weigh about 165. To one seven ounces. These are the garnet powder coated thirty four cal. All right, we got fourteen pellets powder coated thirty four cal here, and the once fired. Grab original. That's in the blue can. Here I am trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing, and I end up spilling it all over the place. The stuff is too damn expensive to be spilling it. And there we go. All right, now, let me see, where did I leave this thing? Because I have messed up and had the wrong, wrong spindex starter in there many times. Don't need the two and three quarter inch bushing. Fourteen pellets of thirty four caliber. That's that's a bad one right there. I think your black bear hunters ought to like that one too, or the 12 pellets of 35 cal. Oh, baby. That'll show enough to get it done. We'll get these marked up, and then we will get them down to the range and shoot them for you guys just as soon as we possibly can. Until then, we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.